48. Waves on a swimming pool propagate at 0.75 meters per second. You splash the water at one end of the pool and observe the wave go to the opposite end, reflect, and return in 30 seconds. How far away is the other end of the pool? So basically, here is the two ends, right? This wave is going to be traveling at 0.75 meters per second, and it's going to travel all the way to the wall, then return back, and that whole time frame to make two of these uh, distances is going to be 30 seconds. So in other words, the whole trip takes 30 seconds, or basically just this half of the trip would take 15, right? 15 seconds. So don't double count the time or the, or the distance here. What I'm going to do is simply take then the single length, and the single length would have the single time value, just half the time. So now this is fairly straightforward, right? I mean, we, we're going to use velocity is equal to distance over time. We want to solve for the distance, right? So that's just velocity times time. The distance is going to be uh, equal to then the velocity, which is 0.75. They told us and the time it takes was going to be 15 seconds. So simply just multiply them together. So uh, 15 times 0.75, and what do we get? 11.25. So 11 point, I guess, 3 uh, meters. That's how far. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Take care.